G'day! The typical school curriculum usually presents to students three different ways to think about division, how to interpret division in three distinct ways, and then balances between these three interpretations as though it's obvious they are equivalent. Now, I remember being very confused by this as a kid. I had no idea why they should be the same. And so what I want to dig in today, why are the three typical different ways to interpret division actually, philosophically, the same? So what are these three ways? So let's look at a concrete example. Let's look at 12 divided by 3 equals something. Let's work out that division problem. So one interpretation is division by groups. You could ask, how many groups of size 3 can I find among 12 objects? The number of groups you can find of size 3 amongst 12 would be the answer to that division problem. That's one interpretation. In other words, more mathematical. We're really asking, what times 3 gives the answer 12? What times 3 gives the answer 12? That's thinking about division as reverse multiplication, doing multiplication backwards. And here's the third interpretation, division by sharing. Suppose I have 12 pies to share equally among three people. Well, how many pies would each person receive? All right, that's division by sharing. Now, in the math ed world, I think this is called a, a quotative division, and this one's called partitive division, and this one's called, I don't know what it's called, reverse multiplication, I think that's the name for it. Very scary jargon. I like to think of division by groups. How many groups of a certain size can you find? Division by sharing. I want to share this, this, this quantity out amongst a certain number of people. How many pies each person get? Or just do multiplication backwards. All right, all right. Now, I know the answer to each of these individual problems is four. Um, that's not the issue to me. It's not about the answer. But philosophically, why should they have the same answer of four? So let's think through this now. Okay, I'm going to go through them one at a time. So let's go with division by groups. If I really had to answer this question, thinking just of group mentality, how many groups of size uh, 3 can I find amongst 12 objects? I'd answer this way. I'd look at 12 objects. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. There are 12 objects. And I'll literally try to find groups of 3. How many groups of 3 can I find? There's one there. There's one there. Woo! There's another group of 3 here. Doo -doo 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 -doo. And a group of 3 here. And bingo, all 12 dots are used up. I see there are four groups of three amongst those 12 dots. Okay, great, great. So my, my face is all spotty now. I'll see if I can stand to the side. All right, so there is a picture that answers the uh, uh, division problem you know, if I'm thinking about division by groups. But here's the lovely thing. If I look at this picture, I can also see it's really four groups of three. Four groups of three. That's repeated addition. I've got three, 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 and three. We call repeat addition multiplication. So I could actually interpret this picture also as a picture of four groups of three making all 12 dots. That is, I've just answered the division problem by thinking of reverse multiplication. So this one picture right now can be interpreted as division by groups and can also be interpreted as a multiplication problem. Therefore, if I've got two different questions coming from the same picture, then they must have the same answer four in each case. All right, all right. Two different interpretations of this one picture explains why those two interpretations have the same answer. This is great. This is great. Now my challenge is, can I now look at the same picture again, the same one picture, and interpret a way that makes sense for this thinking of division? Is this a picture really of sharing? Oh, I need to clean the boards. Let's see if we can interpret that picture as a sharing problem. And I bet the answer is going to be four. Let's see if we can see why. Okay, let's think about the sharing problem now. Here are 12 pies to be shared equally amongst these three people, Albert, Bilbert, and Cuthbert. All right, now let's think about how would we physically go about sharing those pies. Well, one method would be kind of a little tedious, but you could do it. Give a pie to Albert, give another pie, give a pie to Bilbert, give a pie to Cuthbert, then give another pie to Albert, give another pie to Bilbert, give another pie to Cuthbert, give another pie to Albert, Albert, Bilbert, Cuthbert, and so on. Just march your way through, giving one pie to each person in turn, and repeating as you go along, and there we'll see how many pies each person ends up with. That's one absolutely fine method of sharing, a little tedious, but you can do it. Another approach would be, I say, hmm, let me see if I can be a little more organized. I know I'm need, going to need three pies for each person, so let me organize my pies into groups of three. There's a group of three, 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 and I bet you know where I'm going right now, because now that I have my pies organized in groups of three, I will give Albert one pie from this group, Bill one pie from that group, Cuthbert one pie from that group. And I'll do the same here. Albert gets one pie from here, Bill one pie from here, Cuthbert one pie from there. Uh, Albert, Bilbert, Cuthbert, Albert, Bilbert, Cuthbert. Arrange my groups, in, arrange my pies into groups of three, then just give each person one pie from each group. And, 
as there are one, two, three, four groups, that means each person's getting four pies. The number of pies each person gets matches the number of groups in this picture, which is that picture I had before. Whoa! The sharing uh, interpretation of division is indeed counting the number of groups of three I can find amongst those 12 dots, if I interpret it this way. That, that's the link, that's the key, that's beautiful. Okay, let's do a piece of practice. Here's a picture. Let's see if we can interpret it three different ways. All right, first of all, I'm looking at it, I'm definitely seeing there are four groups. In fact, I'm seeing there are four groups, each with five objects. So it's actually a picture of four groups of five. Five, 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 five. That's repeated addition, which is multiplication. So it's really a picture of multiplication. It's telling me that four copies of five, four groups of five, is making all 20 dots in the picture. Great, it's a picture of multiplication. But I can also think of it as a picture of division. In fact, division by grouping, because I'm seeing four groups of five amongst those 20 dots. So I can say it's also a picture of this. 20 divided into groups of five. Well, there are four groups of five amongst these 20 dots. That's what the picture is telling me if I interpret this picture, uh, this division statement as grouping. Great. There are four groups of five amongst 20 dots. Beautiful. But now there's a third way to interpret it. And you say, OK, think of these things as pies. Someone's organized them into groups of five. Why five? Well, it must be because they're about to share them amongst five people. Albert, Bilbert, Cuthbert, Dilbert, and Egbert this time. Because what they're going to do is obviously they've arranged them to pies, groups of five to be organized. They'll give one pie to Albert from this group, one pie to Bilbert, one to Cuthbert, one to Dilbert, one to Egbert. And they'll give one pie to each person from each group. So this group has one pie going to Albert, one to Bilbert, one to Cuthbert, one to Dilbert, one to Egbert as well. This group uh, has one pie to Albert, one to Dilbert, uh, Bilbert, Cuthbert, Dilbert, Egbert as well. And finally, each person gets one pie from this group as well. Great, great. I can see this is a picture of someone being organized in a sharing problem. And now I can see because there are actually four groups, A, 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 Albert's getting four pies. So actually, if I share 20 pies, equally amongst five people, each person's getting four pies. It's a picture of a division statement a thought about sharing of this kind in this in this case. Beautiful, there it is. Three different ways to interpret this one picture. Because it's one picture, all three interpretations must have the same answer. This explains why the number four keeps reappearing because it's all coming from the same one picture. This is beautiful. The three different ways to think about division as presented in the school curricula are indeed equivalent and it'd be just absolutely thrilling and fabulous and wonderful to share that discussion with students.